Hi, it's Bengi from Mini Course Generator. As you know, nowadays there are lots of AI power tools whirling around and it's hard to even keep track of it. However, among them, there is only one AI power tool which is focused completely on creating a full, ready to share mini course. It's Mini Course Generator's AI Assistant. You can create a whole mini course with it in minutes, if not seconds. And in this video, we will get to know it better. So why use AI for your education business in the first place? Let's say you're an expert in your field and you'd like to create a micro learning journey about this. Most of the time, when it comes to creating a mini course, we have a rough outline in our minds, but we struggle to structure it properly. You're not alone, time is precious and getting started is hard. Mini Course Generator will provide you the course ground that you can work on your unique edits as a creator. Based on a subject, you will receive a high precision output and generally satisfactory enough to share even. And what's left for you is only the neat work and customization. So let's start with an example and see our AI assistant in action. Let's say I'm a chef and I present cooking workshops regularly for my audience. I'd like to create a mini course that will serve as a lead magnet or lead nurturing content that will show my authority and expertise in my field and grab the attention of my audience. So here we go. If you'd like to create a mini course here, we have three options. Let's choose AI assistant here. As you see, we have a few steps for creating the mini course. First of all, let's describe it. You need to type your profession as a phrase. You do not need a full sentence here. And let's specify our target audience. Here you need to be more specific for more precise uh, results. And also let's uh, describe the course in our minds. I'd like to make it something about my granny. Good. So let's uh, see the title generations here. Um, here are the suggestions by AI. If you'd like to change them, you can edit them here or you can also uh, write down your own title instead. I think um, I will choose this one. Yes. So let's see outline suggestions based on this title. As you see, we have headers and under them, uh, we have subheaders uh, like this. Uh, you are free to edit these uh, titles, of course. Or also, you can add subheaders or headers too. Let's add something. I'd like to add a personal aspect. So I'd like to tell more about me and my granny. This will help uh, me connect better with my audience if we had a personalized uh, aspect of the subject. Yes. Uh, I'd like to reposition them. Uh, this one should come first. Good. And of course, this whole section, this whole header uh, should follow introduction. It should be told before uh, the other content in the mini course. So I move it upwards. Yes, it's done. It's first introduction, now this and the rest of the content, as you can see. So let's move on to the next step. As you know, appearance is also very, very important. Uh, what can be the team suitable uh, for this mini course content and my branding? I think I will choose a warm team like uh, flowers. Yes, let's generate the mini course. As you see, this is how my course looks on my admin dashboard. We have a card structure in mini course generator, content cards added one after each other to form a mini course. We need to add visuals, videos, or maybe uh, audio files to make it more appealing. Let's start with the first card. I think I will add an image or a GIF to this card. It can be something from Unsplash or Giphy. Let's add a GIF first. About cooking, here are my options. Yes, this one is good. 
And on the second card, I'd like to uh, embed a video from YouTube, not to the header part, but in between the text area here. So I will open code view for that. I have the iframe HTML code in my hand. I will paste it to the appropriate part in this area. Save it by clicking elsewhere and close the code view. It must be something over here. Yes, it's edit. So let's uh, add visuals and other types of media to the rest of the mini course too. Yes, I have added all types of uh, visuals. For example, here on this card, I uploaded a video to the header and I embedded a playlist from Spotify just to uh, present a charmful thing. And as you can see, the whole mini course is ready with visuals, uh, videos, etc. So the AI has generated uh, a mini course full of information cards here, but interaction is very important uh, in a mini course. So they have various card types to provide you this variety of interactivity. For example, uh, you can add questions as surveys. For example, have you ever cooked before? Yes, no, or open-ended surveys can be suitable here. And apart from that, we can add quiz questions too. Let's add one. What can it be? It can be about uh, the previous cards on the mini course. So I added a question like this. Let's select the correct answer. And it's ready. So as I have said earlier, I'd like to use this mini course as a lead magnet. I'd like to collect emails. So I'd like to add a sign up wall at the end of this mini course. So let's move on to the end and create a sign up wall card. It is under gateway cards. Over here, you can collect emails with this card and you can also connect it uh, with your mailing platforms. Write an appropriate message here. Besides, you can position this card anywhere in the mini course. It will act as a gateway. For example, let's move it a few cards earlier. So people need to enter their email address to view the rest of the mini course. If you put this mini course at the very beginning of the uh, mini course, the whole content will be protected by this sign up wall. I prefer it at the end. And besides that, you can add other types of conclusions to your mini course as well. We have several completion card types over here. If you'd like to display personalized messages, for example, or give certificates, uh, you can do that. The mini course is almost ready, so let's check it out, view it one more time. Yes, all visuals in the right places. Looks good. You can see the cards in the user interface and user interface. And here is the playlist I embedded. Good. So you can share this mini course either by a link or you can also embed it on your website very easily. You can find the finished version of this AI powered mini course in the description area. So go ahead and experience it yourself and please let me know what you think. If you have questions, leave a comment and meet me in the next video. Bye.